coming right there. Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Rifleman. All right, we, we talk about body armor, we talk about, uh, you know, because we're all about supporting our troops that are overseas. We, we fight in hot environments, deserts and, you know, Middle East. It, it's hot over there, okay? But also for everybody else that's wearing body armor also, all right, uh, law enforcement guys, um, you know, just people doing personal security details, stuff like that, you can still be in a hot environment when those bullets are cracking by around you all right um so you need to stay cool so whether you're law enforcement whether you're military or whether you're just that concerned citizen that buys uh body armor for at home if you're out you need to be able to stay cool without a doubt i gotta they keep dunking a lot. That's those those bullets zipping by. All right. Um, now, I've talked about cooling body armor before. I mentioned uh, we we did a whole separate video on these. Uh, these are the ice, uh, ice plates made by Core Performance. This is not body armor. All right. These are actually um, plates filled with water. Right. And uh, you put them underneath your body armor plates and uh, that keeps you cool. It's great for training even when you don't want to wear your plates. Uh, guys, this I mow the grass with this. They're thawed out now. Slosh a little bit because literally uh, I, I use them. They're they're good stuff. They're great for keeping cool. However, uh, like everything else, a lot of people don't want to run big bulky things like this, or some people may be able to afford it, some people may not. There, I just want to let you guys know that there are other options out there besides uh, these uh, core performance ice plates. Now, this is still the um, the standard for me. This is awesome. These are awesome. To me, this is one of the greatest inventions ever. I love them. I do. I love them. Now, there are other options. Same company. All right, same company, and it is called Ice Vents Universal Vented Padding. Comes in a little box, you get a stack of these plates. Same thing, now you don't have to put these in a freezer or nothing, and what you do with them is, I've got two of them, you put them up underneath the straps on your kit here, and literally all it's doing is, it's creating space, it's letting your shoulders breathe. Now, you can place them on the inside of the kit and everything, but uh, even for your belt, my heavy belt here, right, that you guys see me wearing all the time, I want to try these try these uh, pads out. They Velcro right to the inside. Now, if I take this uh, pad off, all it is is like a corrugated plastic, but it's durable stuff, and it comes pre-cut with the hole, so if you don't have Velcro on the inside of your belt, uh, literally, you can just run zip ties, pieces of tape, anything, run rubber bands. I don't care if you use shoelaces. This stuff will stay in place. And the idea behind it is you're creating a little bit more cushion, which is good, right? You don't want that tight belt cutting in, but you're also creating a cushion that still allows air to circulate through. And that's, uh, remember, one of the best ways to get rid of heat is evaporation, right? So, Great concept. Works okay. Works good. Uh, is it as good as having blocks of ice on front and back of your body? No, it's not. But again, it is. It's an option, guys. It is. Uh, same company, Core Performance. Uh, you get the you get the kit. It comes a little box, and uh, you get five of the plates or five of the little cushions, two for your shoulders. Comes with the Velcro straps to go around, and it's decent. Decent. Again, uh, Core Performance. Same company that makes the ice plates. All right, so there's another option out there. Uh, these are called Body Armor Vent Ice. Uh, now, ice stands for, it, it, you don't put these in a freezer. It's not like the ice place. They stand for uh, increased combat effectiveness. Basically, uh, they, they got the, the soft Velcro on one side, and uh, they are air-filled. The original version of these, the Gen 1, you had to actually pump them up. Uh, these are closed cell. They stay like that, and uh, they're easy to use. Basically, uh, open up your body armor. All right. Get that body armor open. And all you do is you lay your armor out and literally take your, take your plates, get your, your uh, Velcro to stick, and 
basically all that it's doing is it's putting that space on your back. It's actually lifting that body armor off of your body. It's giving it that little, ex just a little bit of extra space. But if you look at the channels on these, all right, you've got basically vertical channels. And remember, heat rises, so it's allowing the air, the warm air, to circulate up through uh, behind, between your body and your body armor, and it allows that heat that your body's giving off because it's got that extra insulation. It's allowing that heat to dissipate off as your uh, your sweat um, evaporates. I, I like these. They're they're again a great concept. They're not that expensive, and they've got they've got all different sizes. So whatever size plates you wear, for example, uh, these are. May, uh, th this size right here is medium sappy plate, okay? Now, I run large plates. They make sizes that are a little bit larger, but even, even with just these medium ones, you see that they still would lift the armor far enough off of my back. Decent stuff, you put it on, and they stay in place. Combine that with the, the uh, core performance ones on the belt, and now I've got a legitimate uh, space keeping my gear off me, letting that air circulate. Again, not bad. I like these, I do, I do like them. All right, this next one's actually in invented by a cop. It's called uh, Blue Halo. I, I believe he was a uh, Chicago police officer. Now, if you've ever been in a city where it's hot, Chicago in the summertime, New Orleans in the summertime, places like that. A lot of times, because the law enforcement officers, they've got to wear their kit all the time. But sometimes they'll undo the sides of their body armor and they'll kind of flop it a little bit. They're trying to get air up underneath, help evaporate a lot of that sweat and also to uh, vent a lot of that heat out. So you'll see them moving their body armor or just standing there with it undone, open, opened up a little bit. All right, so what this fine gentleman did was he made a halo. You basically, you put this over the top of you underneath your body armor, and it's got, it's basically just a bulb off of a blood pressure cuff, and uh, it's got a valve, pressure release valve, but uh, it Velcros up underneath your body armor, and you throw it on regular kit, it stays connected to your body arm, it stays connected to it, comes with all the little Velcro squares to attach it. And um, in fact, let me show you real quick. It's very easy to put on. All right, I will open this up here if I can get all my other Velcro off of it. All right, and literally all you need to do is lay it on, lay it up underneath, this thing will go inside the straps here, your shoulder straps. Put that right inside. And goes right up over the top. Put that one on that side like so. This one on this side. And again, you don't have to bury it underneath your straps like this. It's just, I like my stuff to be prettier. All right? The big deal is once you put it on, it's on. And then it will literally just connect to your strap. I got that one on backwards. Right there. I still want to keep my cushions. Attach the Velcro to the insides, Velcro panels, and it's on. Now, when I put this on, put it on over my head here. I'll have it sat, sits, I pull it to the side. Now, the bulb, all you got to do is you got to loosen up your body armor a little bit. And literally, the valve is already open. Oh, it's closed right now. I open the valve up. And this is removable. Once you've got it on, uh, you can take this whole hose off. But all you do is you pump it up. And when you pump it up, it's the, those four bladders are actually, I can feel it already, raising this one's filling first but eventually all four of them are filling up the ones on the back are filling up right now 
keep going, and it's actually raising the body armor away from my body. It's kind of cool. I can slide my whole hand up in there. It's crazy. It's like this stuff actually works. Huh. Oh, who saw that coming? Now, um, wh what's the intent of that, right? Because uh, now, as soon as I let go, it stops, right? I close my valve right here and unscrew my little thing. I'm done. I can sit here. I can let this thing cool off. I can let it breathe, right? Uh, guys, I, I'm pretty sure I could sit like this and it'd be even more comfy. But when it's time to tighten my body armor back up, we're getting ready to arrive with the Humvee or whatever, or that law enforcement officer's done his lunch break. All, right, all he's got to do is reach up, screw his thing back on, crack his valve open, and when he presses down on the pressure relief valve, oh, oh, I'm mopey again. It literally, it, you, there's no pumping to pull the air out. It deflates all by itself. And Johnny Law can close his valve or not, leave it open, undo his thing, put this back in his pocket, and he's back at, he's back at work again. He's back at work doing his job. That won't be sticking out like that. All right? But um, it's the exact same concept as these other brands, but you see it's inflatable. Now, um, whether you go with the... The core performance, uh, their ice vents, which are the same thing, basically corrugated to get more air moving. Whether you go with the core performance or whether you go with the body armor air or the body armor, uh, body armor ice plates uh, that are just venting air, they're closed cell. Or whether you go with the blue halo, like I'm wearing right now, the whole... Uh, inflatable vest up underneath. Uh, understand that the concept does work. The, the goal is to get air circulating up underneath that body armor. If you work in an environment where you can't take a break, you can't take your kit off, having that little extra space in there is really going to help you dissipate that heat and it's going to allow you to stay in the fight a little bit longer. So anyways, I just want you to know you have options out there. Uh, I'll put links for these down in, in the comment section underneath the video. I don't have promo codes for, for any of them. I'll ask them uh, hopefully before, uh, before the video goes live. I will ask if I can get you guys promo codes, maybe save you some cash. But if not, guys, uh, you get hot in body armor, you want to cool off, there are options out there. There really are. Body armor, vent, ice panels, core performance, uh, or the blue halo check them all out figure out which one best meets your mission your needs your individual situation and um y'all you know y'all know the deal y'all take care and shoot straight if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe also make sure you follow us on facebook instagram and twitter so you don't miss out on anything